Today I am here with the summary of the chapter Mijbil the Otter. What do you understand by the title Mijbil the Otter? Mijbil is the name of the pet otter. Otter is a mammal. And this otter is the pet of the author. The name of the author is Gavin Maxwell. Maxwell travelled to southern Iraq early in 1956. He had recently lost his dear dog Johnny and he was too sad to keep another dog as a pet. At this time he thought about experimenting to keep an otter as a pet. Maxwell used to live in Camusperna, which was close to water and appeared to be a suitable place for keeping the sea animal. He mentioned this idea to one of his friends who had accompanied him to Iraq. The friend advised Maxwell to find an otter from the Tigris marshes, a place that had countless otters often tamed by Arabs. Maxwell and his friends were on the way to Basra to the Consulate General to collect and answer their mails from Europe. It so happened that his friend's mail had arrived but Maxwell had to wait for his mail for another five days. Meanwhile, his friend left and when Maxwell returned with his mail to his room, he found two Arabs waiting for him. They handed him a note from his friend which said, here is your otter. The otter was in a sack. On opening it, Maxwell saw the animal which appeared to him like a very small, medievally conceived dragon. It was thoroughly mud smeared and Maxwell took a month to remove all the traces of mud from its chocolate coloured coat. Maxwell named the otter Mijbil. Mij remained aloof during the first 24 hours. He slept on the floor as far as possible from Maxwell. However, he soon became quite friendly and the very next day hopped into Maxwell's bed and slept in the crook of his knees. Maxwell then made a body belt for him and led him to the bathroom. The sight of water brought immense joy to Mijbal. He rolled and plunged in the bathtub, creating quite a commotion. By observing Mijbal's behavior in water, Maxwell learned that playing with water is a characteristic of otters. They love to splash it around and cannot resist the sight of it. Two days after Mij's first visit to the bathroom, Maxwell was surprised to see that he had not only managed to get into the bathroom but had also turned the tap on with its own paws. Soon Mij learned to follow his master without a lead and started responding to his name. Mijbil enjoyed playing with the rubber ball, dribbling it all over the room and throwing it up powerfully to a great distance. At times he would lie on his back and roll two or three marbles on his belly without letting them fall off his body. Then it was time to leave Basra. Maxwell was worried about transporting his pet otter to England since the British airline to London did not fly animals. So he had to book a flight via France and even this flight required the otter to be flown in an 18 by 18 inches box to be placed on the floor at the passenger's feet. Maxwell got this box ready and put Midge into it an hour before leaving for the airport to familiarize him with the closed surrounding. Then he left to have a quick meal. However, on his return, he was shocked to see that the otter had badly ripped the inner lining of the box and had injured himself in a bit to wriggle out. It took Max a long time to remove the shredded linings of the box. He then put Mitch back into the box and made the driver of the car rush to the airport at a bullet speed because he was getting late. He was left with barely 10 minutes to cover the distance of 5 miles to the airport. On reaching there, he found the aircraft waiting to take off. The angry officials rushed Maxwell through. However, Maxwell felt lucky as he had been booked a seat at the extreme front. He covered the floor around his feet with newspapers and shared his worries about Midge with an air hostess. 
she suggested to try carrying the pet on his knee. Max was overwhelmed at this suggestion, but little did he know that an otter out of the box could be difficult to manage. As soon as Max opened the box, Midge dashed towards the seated passengers and created an awful confusion and panic in the aircraft. It wasn't easy to get him back to his place, but fortunately, he soon returned on his own and snuggled up to Max. Midge Bill lived with Maxwell in his flat in London for nearly a month. The pet author would keep himself busy and entertained with different toys like ping pong balls, marbles, rubber fruit and a terrapin shell. He would invent his own games that would keep him occupied for up to half an hour at a time. Maxwell exercised Midge Bill on a lead like a dog. Another thing that Maxwell learned was that an average Londoner is unfamiliar with otters. He was really amused at the wild guesses people in the streets made about Midgebill species. Some thought it to be a baby seal, while others thought it to be a squirrel. Still others proposed that it was a beaver, a walrus, a bear cub, a leopard or even a hippopotamus. The most surprising was when a labourer digging a hole in the street laid down his tool, stared at the other and inquired from Maxwell, what is that supposed to be? That's all for today. In case of any doubts or queries, you can drop us a message on Instagram or you can also drop them in the comment section below. I'll revert to them as 